CRT effects go a long way in making some of your video edits just a little bit better. But the majority of them for DaVinci Resolve are not free. So with that in mind, I'll show you how to turn this into this in DaVinci Resolve 18.6. Now this here is the footage we're starting with. But the first thing we want to do is get an adjustment clip. And that will allow you to take whatever effects we learned today and drag it over any other clip. But you can also just apply it directly to your video. Next, we'll get Prism Blur, which you can find in OpenFX. And that'll basically add a little bit of this two-tone after image. But I think it's a little bit intense by default, so we'll turn it down to something more like... Something a bit more like this. So it's still there just a little bit if you look hard enough, but it's not obvious. And as a bonus, we get a little bit more vinaigrette, which you can kind of see on CRTs. Next, we'll get the light ray effect, but not for its light rays per se. You'll see what I mean in a second. We'll turn out source threshold to 0.147, length to 0. 010 soften the 0 0.101 brightness brightness is 0 0.178 bright region recovery to 0 0.767 and global blend down to 0 0.690 and as you can see there's a little bit of that haziness and some banding here and that, I think, makes it a little bit more of that retro CRT feel. Next, we'll throw on a really big one, scan lines. But it's definitely too intense by default. So let's turn line frequency down to 15.58. Line sharpness down to 0 0.915. Line width down to 0 0.194. Go down to composite type and down go to color burn and global blend down to 0 0.729 just like that now the image we have here is a little bit too uniform so there's something we can add called fast noise as for settings on this one basically all i did was turn composite type the darker color and global blend to 0 0.152 and you can't tell a lot of difference right now, but if we just do a quick before and after, you can see a bit of that difference. Next, I like to add waviness, but by default, that just makes it look like this, which is like a water effect. That's not why we're here. So if we turn scale down to 19.4, strength down to 0 0.2, and phase, no wait, speed, all the way up you'll see there's a little bit of a little bit of wobbling in the image now not all crt screens are curved but the majority are so normally if i go to open fx you might quickly want to say i'll throw on lens distortion but it's not free but there's another way to get lens distortion we can use the dent effect which looks like this by default but it has settings First things first, we'll turn it to type 2. Which will give it this sort of image, just a bubble in the middle. Size down to 0, or actually up to 0 0.999. Better already. Strength down to 0 0.349 to kind of make it less of a round thing. And a nice touch is also, if we go to video, turn the zoom down to something like this. And as you can see at the edge of the screens, like 0 0.92, you can kind of see the curve around the edge of the screen. And we've got something looking like this now. A lot better already. More CRT-like. But we're not done yet. There's one more thing we're going to add. Flicker addition. Normally you want to remove flicker. Well, now we're adding flicker, but again, it's way too intense. So first we turn range down to 0 0.054, speed 
down to 0 0.625, move this down to 0 0.100, and I think that is it. We have ourselves a CRT effect. But there's another issue. If I put an image behind it, you might wonder, hey, why is it still black? Even when I zoom out, I can't see the image behind it. You might want to say, put like a CRT border over it, or use this as a little webcam overlay thing. Well, there's a solution to this. So copy your effects and paste it to the actual video. Oops. Paste attributes. Make sure you have zoom, plugins, and color correction on. No, not color, color correction. Just plugins. Apply. And you'll see it's on here. You go to effects, go to light rays, and turn global blend use alpha off. And as you can see, you can see the image just fine behind the video. Anyways, that's all I got. I'll be posting a new video soon and not already on how to do basically the same thing, but make it look like a 2000s digital camcorder. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next video. Leave a comment down below if you have questions, suggestions, anything else. And bye!